Have you ever come across this type of animation video before? Welcome friends to our colorful world of vegetables. Today, we're going on an exciting adventure with some of our crunchy, juicy, and absolutely fantastic vegetable friends. Let's meet corn, tomato, carrot, eggplant, and red pepper. It is called a whiteboard animation. This type of animation is one of the ways to create engaging, faceless YouTube videos that can easily be monetized if done properly. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to create these types of videos as well as show you one of the ways to help you grow on YouTube. The first step is creating the script, but before we do that, it is important to identify what niche works well with this video format and whether the niche is viable. To answer these questions, it is not enough to go into ChatGPT and type give me six high earning YouTube niches where I can create videos using whiteboard animation. You will get some answers, but how do you figure out how viable these niches, like what keywords to go for and ideas that will help you get views and grow? This is where VDIQ comes into play. I've been asked many times how I grew my faceless YouTube channel. Well, this is one of the tools I used that changed the game for me. Let let me show you how. Coming into VidIQ, VidIQ provides you with a plethora of tools to help you succeed on YouTube. But I won't be covering this because this is not a VidIQ video. I wanted to show you something very important. I will be using the first two keywords because keywords are the words that is within a niche that would help you rank appropriately. For instance, let's look at the word faceless YouTube channel. You could notice that the search volume is over half a million people are searching for this word every single day. The competition is quite low. And the overall score is very high. This is implying that if you make a video targeting a faceless YouTube channel or you belong to that niche, the possibility of you ranking for this keyword is quite high. But what if you want to create things like a personal finance channel using the whiteboard animation, which is what we are covering today, and we type in, for example, make money online? The search volume is about 1.4 million people search is searching for this keyword every single day. The competition is high, but the overall score is high as well. And VidIQ gives you the opportunity to explore related keywords and find for yourself what you can easily rank for within the specific niche. Let me show you a YouTube channel that is using the whiteboard animation when it comes to the personal um, finance space. This particular YouTube channel called Chris Invest is doing an amazing job using whiteboard animations to explain very complex financial ideas in a way that people will like and enjoy. You could check out the channel. And then coming back to VidIQ, you, one more tool I want to show before I leave VidIQ would be ideas. Yes. VidIQ gives you the opportunity to um, explore up to 50 ideas every given day and it ranks them for you. And why is it ranking them for you? Based off of what is already doing well within the YouTube algorithm, it tells you some of the topics that are doing well, which you can go ahead and explore. Can be quite pricey for a lot of people. It doesn't have a free plan. The first plan here is the pro plan, which doesn't give you much. The boost plan is what I recommend because it gives you everything that you need. I was able to speak to VidIQ and I was able to get a very huge discount for my subscribers. So you could use the QR code you have on your screen to assess VidIQ boost for just one dollar for your first 30 days and you can also use the link in the description as well as in the pinned comment section to assess vidiq it to be a game changer for you next is actually creating the script itself i will be using chat gpt for that so once we paste this particular command what we're asking chat gpt to do is to write a youtube script for a whiteboard animation about vegetables for this video we'll be focusing on creating very simple video about vegetables specifically for kids and i said i want the intro to mention this particular vegetable and give it the amount of seconds i want each definition to be and once i have that i just click on enter and chat gpt is going to go ahead to create a script based off of all the instruction i've given it i'm going to leave this as well 
in the description box so you could have access to it once you have your script written what you need to do is to go through it and be sure that you are okay with what the script is saying the next thing would be to create voiceovers for this specific script and i love to use the tool 11 labs so 11 labs is free to get started with you only need to pay for it if you want to do advanced things like clone your voice or some other advanced features but you don't need that you just need the free plan the first thing you do is to copy the first message that introduces people to the adventure and then next you come to 11 labs you go ahead and choose your settings choose the voice i'll be using this voice this is one of the default voices in 11 labs and it's very good and then i'm just going to paste the text and then you go ahead and click on generate and this would be done this is what you would do for all your different phases for your whiteboard animation let's see how this sounds once this is complete welcome friends to our colorful world of vegetables today we're going on an exciting adventure with some of our crunchy this sounds pretty good and once you're satisfied with how this sounds, you just go ahead and hit the download here at the very top here, hit the download button and it downloads it to your computer. Then you save it with the first scene. You could say scene one and then clear this and replace with the next scene till you are done creating all your voiceovers. The next thing would be for us to create the images we are going to use to create our whiteboard animation. We're going to be using is Canva. We're going to be creating a, a video. So we'll be using a video size. Go to create a design. Here, choose video. This gives you an empty canvas. What we'll be doing here is just to create the images that we'll be using for our whiteboard animation. So first of all, we want to create vegetables and we want to put in some backgrounds and some elements at the very top here go to elements first and for instance i've found some elements we'll be using for this drop this because i want it as part of the background i'll be adding a couple of clouds in the sky at the very top here just to make sure that it feels like a field or it feels like a garden we have some here and we can place some around here. Then I found the background. So I could just place it here. This is coming together. So once we put in the background, the next thing would be to put in the different vegetables here because this would be basically our welcome page. And the couple of vegetables we said is corn and tomatoes and so on. You could just come in and search for corn and go to graphics and you could pick out some graphics that you find very interesting. But I've uploaded some that I wanted to use. Click on corn here for instance and then the next thing would be i want to add some legs and some hands to this to make it look alive go to the elements search for cartoon hands and you could see the hands that are here so you could just click on this keep it one side and then i'll look for another one you could click on this one as well and then for the leg we want the leg moving just move this to make sure this sits properly we'll take it backwards afterwards then the hands we move this make sure that the hands are proportionate to the body so for this i'm going to flip it over here i'm just going to click on layers and bring to the front and you can see how this looks this already looks good but what if i want to change the colors of the hands click on the hand and then for the whites, let's just change it to um, yellow, just to make it the color of the corn. And this, we could just make it green shoes or make it darker. Go ahead and select all of this and group it. You could move it around. As you can see that this looks fantastic already. I'll just go ahead and put in other characters and we will come back this if you are finding value in this tutorial kindly hit that like button and the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification to know when i post a new video thank you so much added all the other characters we'll be talking about today in this video and this is set to go the next thing is to create the individual ones just click here and hit the page 
So here, what we'll be doing is we'll be talking about corn first. Delete every other thing that is not the corn. And then we move the corn aside, increase it because that's what we're focusing on. And here that is vegetables, we'll just change this to corn. This is done. It's the same thing that you do for all the single individual ones. Let me quickly do that and I'll be back. Everything is done from the corn. The only thing different I did was I just added just a couple of things on the floor here. Then we have the tomatoes, then we have the carrot, we have the eggplant, we have the red pepper. And this is good to go. The next thing is to download all this because we are of creating this as a whiteboard animation click on share go to download make sure that this is png and then you go ahead and download all of it remember this is supposed to be 1080p then download all of it and it's going to be downloaded as a zip folder and then go ahead and unzip it because we'll be using it in the next tool but once you're done with this just come to this particular website called spins paint speedpaint.co before now speedpaint used to be within um canva and it was free i'm not sure what happened and they pulled out but we could also use it as a standalone you come in to upload image so i'll be uploading the images i've downloaded i'll go to the folder we have downloaded them and we'll be animating these um, images one after the other i'll show you how to animate the first one so once you upload this this shows up the first thing you need to do is to choose a hand because you want a hand that will be drawing this for a whiteboard and then for the frames per second i just choose 30 frames per second the sketch duration 10 seconds for the color fill we're going to be using five seconds for the sequence we leave it as auto flow quality hd and add a fade out effect at the very end and then this will be an mp4 you go ahead to animate this it's also important to note that this tool at this point in time used to be free but it's not free anymore you need to pay attention to that as well and we wait for this to complete this is done. Let's play it and see how it looks like. We just go ahead and click on play and you can see the hand drawing it and it's drawing everything that we have created in that image. This looks really cool. And this is what you're going to do for all your different scenes. And once you're done creating all um, the videos, just go ahead and click on download button. And this will be downloaded straight to your computer. And that's what you're going to do for all the different scenes. Once all your videos are ready, we're going to come back to Canva. We're going to be using Canva to put everything together. Go to create a design. And in Canva, we'll be using custom size because I want to use a larger size for the video. We'll be using 3840 by 22160 pixels. So we create a new and then you go ahead to upload all the videos. I'm going to have to upload all the videos. And these are all the videos here. And I also label them as well because they're going to go with the voiceover we created initially. Let's start with the first video. Drag in the first video here. And this is it. While this is playing, let's drag in the first audio that suits this. Go to audio and I name them so you could see VN1. Drag VN and then let's look at this you can see how this starts and this ends i want to give a bit of space here because the transition to the next one this is what you're going to do to place all your videos the next one will be the corn we'll drag this as well and we go to the audio and go ahead and drag in the audio for this two you do the same thing for all the pages and in between we always click and add a transition so let's just say for example you want to add this transition or this or you prefer this or you prefer like a stack we could add the stack as a transition and then once you put in your voiceover with the clip you could go ahead to put in a music that is going to play throughout i also uploaded the music already i'll just go ahead and put in some music here then you could click on the music and reduce it because you don't be louder than the voice so you could reduce it to as low as probably seven and then you to see how it looks like let me just quickly complete this and we'll see how all this comes together 
Welcome, friends, to our colorful world of vegetables. Today, we're going on an exciting adventure with some of our crunchy, juicy, and absolutely fantastic vegetable friends. Let's meet corn, tomato, carrot, eggplant, and red pepper. Are you ready to discover their secrets? Let's dive in. First up is corn, the golden treasure of the fields. Did you know that corn is not just yummy, but it's also packed with energy? Corn loves to bask in the sun, growing tall and strong. And guess what? Each cob is like a treasure chest, filled with rows of sweet golden kernels. Next, let's catch up with Tomato, the juicy superstar. Tomatoes. This is so much fun to watch. This looks really good. And once you're satisfied with all the videos, all the clips and all the transition and the music, head to share, go to download. You'll be downloaded as an MP4. You could increase the quality and go ahead and download it. And the video is ready to go up on your YouTube channel. If you want to know how much you can realistically make from a faceless YouTube channel, you need to watch this video and I will see you there.